Well, I wanted to do this outside, but it's getting a little stormy out there. So we'll just make do with this. I've been taking a bit of a break from from creating and that last vlog that I said was um, that I was gonna try and get back into it, but it really wasn't the right time. I was still super burnt out at work and was really struggling to find the motivation to, to do this. But recently some things have changed and I really feel that it's time. Basically, if you don't know, I'm going to India in January. Um, my friend Shovik, he's getting married. And so that's super, super exciting. I've been needing to travel more and I don't know, I just got super tied down here. Yeah, it's just time for me to get out. A friend of mine brought something really, really interesting to my attention and that is, you know, I go through these incredibly intense waves of emotion in my life. Like, either I'm doing incredible and I feel completely unstoppable, or I feel so stuck. And, you know, that that's a very similar thing to what he's been going through. And so the way he brought it to my attention was at first it was really painful. And then we had a chance to like sit down and talk about it. And he helped me to understand why he said what he did. And um, basically what he was saying was that whether I know it or not, there's something in my life that I've been avoiding, some sort of pain or just general darkness that I've been hiding from and that he didn't realize that in his own life until after somebody who he really trusted did the exact same thing that he did with me. So that led to a lot of really intense soul searching and I'm by no means anywhere near done with that, but at the same time, I feel like he's spot on there. Whenever I'm feeling good, I'm feeling really good. And then when I'm feeling down, I can never quite figure out why. Then that brings me to take it out on other people or just make generally horrible decisions. But yeah, I really wanna start working on that and stop letting my mind rule me because this is gonna be a really, really long journey and I don't want to go into it just to get burnt out or thrown out. Not only that, it's it's just so unhealthy to, to push away the, the pain in your mind. You know, you have to get it out and you have to you have to work on it. Like I have a general idea of what that looks like, but it will take some time to work through it. That realization brought to my attention how negative my life has been recently. Like when I started doing this, I felt bulletproof. Like nothing could get in my way, nothing could stop me. But then recently it's just been more, more of a struggle to find optimism, to find excitement to do this. I'm working right now on trying to understand the pain in my life that happened previously and to figure out a way to work around it. But not only that, I'm trying to find a way to find the joy find the, the energy and excitement that I had. I think at first I was getting beat down constantly by, by my own mind. Everyone who I told about this project was 
overjoyed for me and excited to see where it leads. But then in my own head, I was just telling myself, I can't do it, I can't do it. Uh, no matter how hard I try, it's never gonna work out. It's time for me to take a hold of what's most important to understand who I am and where I'm going to put my trust where it matters most. So, see you later.